Hey guys, in this video let us understand how to work with files in Python. Python is considered to be one of the best programming languages when it comes to automating tasks. A good reason for that is how easy it is in Python to handle files. Also because there is a large collection of libraries available in Python which can help us to handle almost any type of files. In this video we shall cover everything that you need to know to get started with working with files in Python. I'll make sure to leave the time code to each of these sections in the description below. So if you want to skip and watch only a particular section then you can do that. Let's begin. Let's start by looking at how we can read a file in Python. So for this example let's say I have a text file here which is named as capital underscore ct dot txt. It has some data. Let's see in Python how we can uh, read the contents of this file. So in order to read a file, the first thing that we need to do is we need to open this file. So to open this file, we just need to use the function called as open. So I just mentioned open and then uh, mention the file name. So which is capital underscore ct dot txt. And the next argument is the mode in which I want to open this file. So I want to open this file just to read. So I just mention R which stands for read. Uh, and now this open function will always return a file object. So I'm going to store this file object into, my, into a variable called as f. Once the file is open, the next thing we need to do is to read the contents of this file. So for this, there are a few methods. Let me use a method called as read. Uh, what this method read does is it will just read the whole content of this file. That is everything that you see here. And then it's going to return a string with uh, which has all this contents. So I'm just going to print whatever this f dot read is going to uh, return. So I just do print of all of this. And then finally, I just need to close this file. So this step is very important. Uh, if you don't close a file which you have opened in your program, you're not going to get any compiler errors, but internally it's going to cause a few issues. The issues may be something like if you opened a file in write mode and then if you do not close it, then no one else will be ever able to uh, make any modifications to this file until that file is closed. Or there can be issues related to uh, memory uh, leak, etc. So there can be a few issues if you do not close a file. So it's always recommended that if you ever open a file in your program, always make sure to add a close command uh, for that file. Okay, so now let me just save this and if I execute this program, you can see that the program is executed and the data is uh, printed here. So this data is basically everything that was present in this file. So now this definitely is uh, one way of uh, opening a file and reading the contents of this file. But this is not the recommended way in Python. The recommended way to open a file in Python is by using context manager. So let's see how we can use context manager to open a file. Uh, let me just comment out this and to use context manager, we just need to use the keyword called as with and then just mention the whole open uh, function here. Let me just copy paste this here and then just pass a variable as f. And inside this, so you need to add a colon here, which states that it's the beginning of a block. And here you just mention uh, your block of code that whatever you want to do with the data that is present in this file. So let's say I just want to print all the data from this file. So I'll just open a loop for line in F. Uh, this will just process each line of that text. And uh, it, in each iteration, it's going to return uh, one line at a time from this particular file. And then I'm just going to print this line. So print line, that's all. Now, if I just clear this and execute this program, you can see that it's basically executed uh, and all the data is shown. But uh, there's one weird thing here that after every line, there's an additional line uh, displayed here. This is because print additionally uh, always adds a line uh, after uh, each statement. So let me just avoid uh, that additional line here by just saying, and equal to a null character. Now, if I just clear this and execute this, you can see that the data now shown is exactly how it is present in this file and exactly how it was shown from this previous method. Now, the biggest difference between using a context manager to open a file and then process it uh, when compared to the traditional method is that in context manager, we don't need to explicitly mention to close the file. So I'm, I do not have to uh, close a file here because uh, Python will automatically close this file as soon as uh, my program will exit this block. So even if there was an unexpected error that occurred somewhere in between block of code, uh, as soon as my program comes out of this block, 
uh, Python will close that file uh, for us. So this does not happen when we try to use uh, a traditional method to uh, open a file. So here explicitly we need to mention uh, to close a file and if there was an unexpected error somewhere in between our program then and if this uh, line where the closing of the file was mentioned was never executed then the file would never be closed and that is why it's not recommended to use uh, this way of opening a file rather it's recommended in python to use context manager way to open a file so instead of this i can also use the read method that i used uh, in at the top here so let me just copy this and if i paste this if I clear and execute, you can see that the output is the same. So I can use this read even here and that's fine. Just that the difference between using a read or using this uh, for loop to print each line is that read will uh, extract all the contents of your file at once and then it will return it as a string. Whereas by using this for loop, I was only reading one line at a time. So if let's say if I had a very huge file which was having gigabytes of data, then uh, the read method would read the whole uh, all of that data at once and then store it into a memory which uh, would not be uh, the best thing to do uh, whereas uh, this for loop where i'm reading one line at a time at one instance it's always going to store uh, data related to only one line in the memory which is much more efficient but then you might have a program where you may need to use read and so you can still use it uh, there's one additional thing that you can do with read and that is passing some uh, value here so let's say if i pass 100 and if I clear this and if I execute this, you can see that only the first 100 characters of this file are being read. So you can do that uh, using read. Now, let's say instead of reading the whole content, I just wanted to read each line of that file and, and return it as a list. Then I can just use another method called as f.readLines. And this will return a list. So let me just print this. So if I execute this program, you can see that it's actually returning a list of strings. Each string in this list is basically one line uh, from this particular text. Now let's talk about how we can write some data into a file. So to do that, again, the first thing that we need to do is we need to open the file. This time we need to open the file in write mode. To do that, I'm just going to use the context manager. So I just use the same open function. I mentioned a file name. So let's say I mentioned something like test.txt. And then I just mentioned the mode as W. W stands for write. And then I just mention a variable uh, which is going to store the uh, file object that is going to be returned by this open function. And in the next line, I just, I'm just going to write some uh, data into this file. So I just use a method called as write, f dot write. And I just uh, enter some value here. So let's say this is a dummy file. Okay, so that's all. Now, when I execute this program, you can see that uh, the program is executed successfully and there is a test file that is created here. So if I click on this test file, you can see that it's basically printing the same value. That is, this is a dummy file that I mentioned here. This is how simple it is in Python to read uh, a file and also to write some data into a file. Uh, important thing to note here is that when we when we try to write some data into a file if that file does not exist then python is going to newly create that file but let's say if that file exists then what happens is python will overwrite all the contents of that file for example let's say if i execute this program again and i change this text to something like um, executing again and now if i execute this program you can see that the file is not actually created again, but then if I click on this file, the data of this file is now uh, overwritten by the new data. So if you want to avoid this, so if you want to write something into a text file, but you do not want to overwrite the old contents, then you can open the file in the append mode. So just by mentioning Y instead of W. What this will do is this will tell Python to uh, basically to write some data into this file but then do not overwrite the contents of this file. Just add the contents that you are going to uh, mention here uh, to the already existing uh, content. So if I execute this, let me change this again. So let me just pass a new line character and then just pass some value like this is appending some values. Okay. Now, if I just execute this program, you can see that the file still exists and if i click on that you can see now there is a new line added here which is saying this is appending some values 
So basically, I'm using an append uh, mode here to add on some more values into the already existing file. So this is how append uh, works. Now, I hope uh, this is clear that how we have read a file, uh, written some data into a file and appended some values uh, to an already existing file. Let's write a, a proper program to uh, understand all of these three concepts more clearly. So for example, let's say I have this uh, file and in this file, you can see here that I have some questions. So question number one, what is the capital of India? Then I have the answer like New Delhi and same goes for a few other countries as well. So let's say uh, what I want to do is I want to read the contents of this file and then uh, wherever I find the answers to these questions, I want to just copy these answers and then uh, move it to or copy it to a different file. So in order to do that, let's try to write a program to uh, do that. So let me just uncomment uh, this one for now. And the first step that we have to do here is we need to read the contents of this uh, capital underscore city dot txt file. So I'm just going to open this file and it's going to be in read mode. And here I'm going to place a variable, something like uh, read file, just so that it becomes more clear. So this is my uh, read file. So here, and I don't want to print this line here. So rather what I want to do is the first word in the line is answer. I want to basically append this particular line into a new file. So to do that, I'm going to use a method called as starts with so line dot starts with and here i just mentioned the value like answer so and i'm going to put it in so at a if condition so let's say if this is true so meaning that as soon as i find a line which is starting with a word answer i need to do something so what i need to do is i need to open another file in the append mode so i just say with open and i just say here like a file name so let's say the file name is answers.txt and then I just open this in append mode okay so and then I just pass a variable here to store the file object I'll name it like append file and inside this I want to write some data into this file so I just mention append file dot write and I'm just going to uh, write everything that was written from this line so that's all. So when I execute this program, you can see that a new file is created by the name answers.txt and the data here is basically whatever was copied from uh, this file. So all the answers that were copied from this file are now available in my answers.txt. So I hope this was a pretty decent example of how we can use uh, file operations in Python to uh, open a file and then read the contents of that file and then process uh, each line of that file and then based on certain conditions um, copy that uh, line into a different file okay using the append mode okay so the last thing that we are going to uh, talk in this video is how was Python able to identify this file or basically access this file because we have not mentioned the location or the path where this file was placed the reason for that is because this file is present in the current working directory of Python. Now, what is current working directory? Basically, current working directory is the location or the path where Python is currently operating. So if you uh, if you want to find what is the current working directory uh, in the current instance, then we can just use a module called as OS. So I'm just going to import that module, import OS. And then let me just... Uh, print out the current working directory so we can just do that by saying os dot get cwd uh, that's all i'm just going to print uh, this value print and now if i just execute this program you can see that it's printing some location basically this path that the os dot get cwd printed cwd here stands for current working directory is basically the current working directory of python so what python does is if there is any file that is present in this location then python will just straight away extract it so we don't need to mention any path or location here we can just mention the file name with the extension and python will be able to access that uh, but let's say if I wanted to access a file which is not present in my current working directory or for example, let's say if I go back here, 
inside my python folder i have another file here called as example.txt now if i had to access this example.txt which is not present in the uh, current working directory then python would not be able to extract it so let's have a look at that so let me just copy this file name and paste it here and let me just uncomment this one and then okay so i don't need all of this let me remove this and let me just make it yeah just to make it simple let's say i'm just going to print each line okay so here and then i just say end equal to uh, this one uh, if i execute this program now you can see that python is throwing an error saying that no such file or directory found uh, because basically python is not able to uh, locate this particular file now there are two ways how you can solve this problem one is by providing the exact path of that uh, file so Let's go back to this file and if I just press command I, I can get the whole location of this. Let me just copy this and if I go back here and if I just paste it here and enter a slash, what I'm doing here is I'm just passing the complete path of this file. This kind of uh, representation of a path is called as uh, absolute path. So in Python, whenever you are trying to represent a path, you can represent it in two different ways. One is by you know, using the absolute path and the second is by using the relative path. Now absolute path is basically the path which starts from your root directory. In macOS, since I'm on macOS, the root directory always starts from users and then followed by your username and then followed by whatever directory you're on. Whereas in Windows, your root directory will always start with some drive like C drive, D drive or whatever the name that you have given for your drive. So the whole path which starts from your root directory until the file uh, is basically called as an absolute path. Okay. And if I just execute this program, you can see that Python is able to uh, extract this file because I entered the complete path where this file was placed. Now, this is one way of representing a path in Python. There's another way we can uh, represent a path in Python and that is by using the relative path. Now, what is a relative path? A relative path is a path with respect to your current working directory. Okay, so just to uh, explain it further. So let's say I'll copy this here and Okay, so this path is basically my current working directory and my example.txt is basically present in a different location, which is this one. This file is basically one folder behind the current working directory. So in such cases, what I can do is I can just tell Python to use the relative path. So just by passing double dot, what Python will do is this double dot basically means to the parent uh, folder. So currently Python is present in this location or basically the Python script execution happens from this particular location. Now, as soon as I say double uh, dot, it means that it will move to the parent directory. That means it will move to the Python uh, folder here and inside Python folder, it's going to look for the file example.txt and here we have this file. So hopefully when I execute this program, it should still work. So if I execute this program, yeah, you can see that the program works fine and it's uh, basically processing all the contents of this file. Now this way of representing a path is called as a relative path. So if your file is not present in your current working directory, then you can pass either the absolute path or relative path. So Python will be able to access that file. But let's say, what if you didn't want to mention path? Then in that case, there's another way also how you can do that. And that is by changing the current working directory. Now, let's say if I wanted to change the current working directory to some other location, I could do that by just saying chdir, that is os.chdir, and then mention the path here. So I know that this file that I am trying to uh, process is present in this path. So I'll just make uh, my new current working directory as this path. I don't need to mention any path here and if I just execute this program you can see that the program works fine and Python is able to access this file because the current working directory is the same location where this file is present. If you found this video useful then please make sure to like, subscribe and comment out any feedback that you may have regarding this video. Stay safe and see you soon in the next one. Thank you.